Right, in my um, last video I showed you how I did some um, upgrades to this low-cost bench drill and in that um, video I actually forgot to mention the bearings. Um, I've had this drill probably about 10-12 um, years now and the bearings are getting quite dry and I noticed a bit of noise on them. Um, they're still in very good condition but I've worked out how to get to the bearings and oil them up. Now in the drill there's um, two sets of um, sealed bearings like this one, obviously much bigger. One in the top and one in the lower side here. And um, they're under the pulley obviously. So first of all we'll take off the top guard, um, release the um, grub screw on the um, pulley and pull that one off. Um, under that one you'll find that there's a, a circlip, um, this one here, I've taken it off um, earlier and then you can actually look down inside and actually see the um, shielded bearing. Now what you need to do with the bearing is to remove this um, metal shield and what I do is use um, like a dental hook uh, and a tool like this one here, sharp tool and get inside and actually hook that um, metal shield off, pull it off, it comes off quite easily and um, that's the one I've taken off here and that will actually reveal the ball race. So you can see the ball race in the top there and at any time you can just pull that pulley off and re-oil those bearings and you can just um, flood that whole bearing there with nice thick engine oil or whatever you've got and fill that one right up and that one will take a while to go down um, I did remove the um, shield on the underside bearing but I don't think that's absolutely necessary um, because the oil still gets into that one um, I actually fired some um, oil up from the underside but I found over time this oil goes down and actually gets into that bearing and comes out um, the end here and to prevent any um, dust or dirt getting into the bearing or any of that oil splashing out when the machine is running I've made a simple seal up out of a piece of gasket to fit the spindle and the diameter of the um, casting. That one drops on there like that and just seals that in. And on reassembly remember to put the circlip back in the groove here and um, for future oiling you don't have to take the circlip off because there's enough room still to lift up the um, gasket seal there to put the oil can nozzle in and give it a good shot of oil. So in the future all you have to do is remove the belt, remove the pulley, lift the gasket and oil up. And for a while afterwards you get a bit of a seepage of oil down through here. Um, so wear your overalls and um, that's good because it's proven it's coming down through the actual bottom bearing. And I can actually hear the difference um, from the oiling up. It sounds really nice and smooth. So I put my flywheel back on and the locking hub
So thanks for watching and see you next time.